Hello friends, today we will discuss about leaf parts and a brief about the features of the leaf. Now leaf is, leaf is a uh, Latin flattened structure which arises from the node of a plant and uh, one of the main functions of the leaf is uh, uh, photo, to conduct a photosynthesis process. So we can divide leaf into three parts, first is the leaf base. The second part is the petiolated part, the petiole part, and third is the lamina. Now, if we describe leaf, I'll, I'll just draw a small leaf. This leaf arises from the node of a branch and uh, this from the leaf base and the leaf base is a par part which is attached to the stem or the axis like in the monocotyledon plant they have a uh, they have sheath there's a uh, there's a part which is covered to the stem like you see in the scale of sugar cane and in dicot it is in the form of stipules they have base called the stipules these are called stipules and every leaf has a auxiliary bud. In the picture also you find the stipule part. Now uh, this from the base of the leaf. The second part it comes is the petiole. This from the leaf petiole. This uh, some parts some leaves I have which are having petioles are called petiated leaves and other parts leaves which are not having petiole they are called sessile leaf sessile now uh, this petiole forms the which which attaches the uh, topmost part of the leaf to the uh, base of the leaf this from the stack of the leaf this is attachment this is a portion from where all the vascular bundles and and all the translocation of uh, food material and what to takes place. And this petiole holds the lamina part. Lamina leaf plate. This is a lamina. As you see in the picture, uh, this is the lamina part. From the petiole, you see a main vein is called midrib. The main vein called midrib. which touches to the apex of a leaf which touches the apex of the leaf this broad area which is called lamina this is a area where it is green colored and it is a area where all the photosynthesis takes place so this from the main area of the leaf and from the uh, midrib arises small veins small vein arises from the midrib and it forms the complete network in the leaf and uh, in many other plants you will see there are small small uh, veins uh, forming a network in the leaf these small veins are called veinlets these small veins are called veinlets and this the main uh, uh, importance of the vein is provides a support and rigidity to the blade this also provides as a channel of transportation of all the food material all the food material to the leaf and taking all the food material to different parts of the uh, plant so broadly we have seen the three parts of the leaf and uh, in the case of monocotyledons instead of stipules we have leaf sheath and uh, I'll just show you the structure of a leaf sheath this is a structure of leaf sheath if a leaf is like that then this oracle part and a sheath is there which which clings to the main stem which clings to the main stem this is called the sheath and this from the sheath base this is the main difference between the monocot and dicot plant. 
and uh, and this oracle oracle here you see is is found there and the midriff and the area and the point which joins the midriff to the base of the leaf is called ligulate so this is the main difference between the monocot leaf and the dicot leaves and on overall we you can see the leaf to the main function of uh, photosynthesis and translocation of the food metal takes place then from the leaf to the different parts of plant and uh, from roots the water is converted to different parts of leaf for photosynthesis is done by the vascular bundles which are spread inside the vein and the veinlets uh, so so the three part of the leaf has been covered in the next session we will see the different types of leaves uh, and uh, different type of vegetation available in the leaf thank you